Welcome to Tagzito. Tagzito is a Web 2.0 tool that you can use to make creative word clouds. Before we get started, I'm just going to show you some examples that are on the home page here. As you can see here, someone's created a word cloud of Texas. This is a great tool for geography. We also have Mona Lisa, Anne Hathaway, Abraham Lincoln, Humpback Whale, and the Macaw. These are all great ways to teach geography, history, art, science, or to work on projects for these. We're going to go back up to the top and create our own. I'm going to hit Create. This is going to take us to the main screen. It's going to start with a dove. But we want to make this our own. So what we're going to do is think of our subject. I've decided to do different types of birds. So what I've done is I've looked for a bunch of different types of birds' names and I've put them in a document. What I need to do is load my words. So under words, we're going to choose load. I'm going to go over here, get my document that has all my bird names in it. I'm going to select them. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to enter my text. There's all my birds. And as I'll show you at the top, I've emphasized some words. If you'd like a word to show up larger in your word cloud, repeat them many times and it will show up larger. You can also make some word options where it will leave out punctuation, numbers, things like that. And I'll show you where that is next. So I'm going to submit my words. And now they're going to show up in my shape. If I want to take out punctuation, I'm going to go into my word options. I'm going to say, no, I don't want punctuation to show up. Or no, I don't want numbers to show up. So you can customize this as you like. Next, I want to choose a different shape. I like the dove, but I think I'd like a different type of bird. I like this one here. It looks kind of like a chickadee. I'm going to select that bird, and now my words are going to take the shape of the new shape I've chosen. I'd also like to change the color. If I hit the color, this is going to change the color of my words. But I want to change my theme. I'm going to click Theme Menu and pick a different color. As you'll see in here, there's many to select from. If you see one with the bars on the outside, that's showing you that the background color will be the color of the bar on the outside, and the boxes in the inside will actually be the color of your words. I'm going to choose an autumn theme. As you can see now, my background has changed and the color of my words have changed. Also, if I just wanted to change it randomly, I can hit this little circle arrow. And this will randomly change my theme. If I'm not happy with the font, I can go into the font menu. Here, I'll pick a different font. Let's try duality. My font has now changed. If I decide to change the orientation of my words, I can go in here as well. This will randomize it. This will make my words horizontal. This will make my words vertical, and this will use a combination of both. Let's try horizontal. Now all my words are horizontal. Makes it a little bit easier to read. If I just don't feel like making these decisions, I can also hit all, and this will randomize. And I can keep hitting the circle arrow until I see a shape and colors that I'm happy with. And as you'll see, down in the bottom, you always have your selections available for you to see. So you know exactly what you have as far as your shape, your orientation, your font, and your colors. If you want to use this creatively in the classroom, you can print these and make it a puzzle. And you can choose a subject or a topic that you wanted to focus on and make your students pick the birds that are found in the water. You can also save this and show it and use it as a demonstration in the class. And you have the option of highlighting words that you want to focus on.